Millions of tiny flax seeds litter the conveyor belt. They remain untouched as they travel through the machine. They're the first flax seeds in history to undergo gentle processing, a new way to extend the shelf life of food. Technology has a wide range of uses and we're focusing on the food industry and the commodities uh, and we can, we can use strictly energy in order to accomplish what chemicals are now doing in the, in the mainstream. Jason Folster is an electrical engineer on the team. The machine was designed by Quantum Mechanical Technology or QMTI. Dr. Mike Drabuk is the inventor and CEO. So we're dehydrating the commodities which in turn lowers the microbial load, removes volatiles that improves flavor profiles, and therefore enhances the longevity of what the commodity is ending up to be processed as. The results of the trial will be sent to the Saskatchewan Flax Council. Groups like this have a vested interest in the technology and want to use it to deliver a fresher product to consumers. We already have some industry leaders that are in, in contact with us. Our next step is to actually install this machinery, sell, sell the technology, install the machinery into present, present operations today or ones that are just being developed. And because of the demand for our, 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 our uh, commodities worldwide, there's lots of new groups showing up and doing stuff. Gentle processing could revolutionize the way lentils, peas and hemp are prepared for market. Besides extending the best before date, it lowers the tannin levels of fava beans. We've done preliminary tests on the fava beans, which has been promising. We've managed to deflavor some of the, di the distasteful textures of this bean. And it helps make soybeans easier for the human body to digest. One of the problems with soybeans is that it has a uh, product in it called a trypsin inhibitor. And what that does is it's not really good for the digestive system and anybody that consumes it. What this does is lowers the level of trypsin so that it's more consumable by the human anatomy. Gentle processing eliminates the need for pasteurization or preservatives. Drabuk has a background in naturopath medicine. So it's just like eating it naturally. He says the technology reduces harmful microbials that cause food rot while maintaining the good ones. Even though there's microbial life left, which we need, right, which we need in our system, that keeps us abundant. It's in what we refer to as an arrested state. So it's non-virulent or non-problematic. The, whole the technology is useful for QMTI people who want to eat organic. It allows farmers to ship produce further. More people will have access to fresh food without chemicals. preservatives. You're looking at some of the organisms that are responsible for rancidity, right? What we're doing is that we're affecting their environment so they can't proliferate, they die, right? And the food still contains live activity. Today what's going on is that we're over-processing stuff and it's foodless food. A lot of the diseases and sicknesses that are around today are based on nutritional intake. Even some of the allergies because of synthetics and different things that are going on. QMTI is hopeful their SAS-made technology could improve food quality for people around the world. Reporting in Prince Albert, I'm Lisa Rizzo.